So guys, here we are for a short and an important F1 video. After yesterday's breaking news that Vettel is going to retire after this current season, the new day raises and today's question is who is going to take Sebastian's set at Aston Martin in the next season? The name more associated with Sebastian's set has been the Alpine driver Fernando Alonso since pretty much the beginning of the season. But that's not much likely to happen once that Alpine is about to renew his contract according to the news. Even despite his close friendship with Aston Martin's boss, Lawrence Stroll. So at the end, this driver for us will not make Aston Martin's set next year. Another name associated with Aston Martin and pretty much every single time in F1 is the fans favorite and current F2 champion Oscar Piastri. But unfortunately for him, knowing Lawrence Stroll ambitions, it's not very likely that Stroll will hire a rookie in F1. Another name frequently associated with Aston Martin this season is Felipe Dragovic. The Brazilian and current F2 driver's championship leader has the talent, but for the same reasons as Piastri, we don't see him having the biggest chances with Aston Martin next season. These three names, according to the mid are the favorites to replace Vettel next season, but we think it differently. So if you want to know who are the drivers that have the biggest chances to replace Vettel next season, stay tuned and let's find it together! First of all, we need to check what kind of driver is Lawrence Stroll looking for, based on the fact that the last driver he hired was Sebastian Vettel and the driver he was looking for was Fernando Alonso? We already have enough clues for the driver's profile that Lawrence Stroll is looking for. So it has to be a proven driver, a name that attracts a lot of media, and finally that has been a F1 champion, or with the potential to be. So based on this profile, we will present you with four drivers drivers that we think are the ones with the most chances to replace Vettel. From our list, the driver that has the lower chances to replace Vettel is Nico Hulkenberg. He is the current reserve driver for Aston Martin. This driver has been called three different times to replace drivers at Aston Martin. And in the latest, it was two races where he beats once the other Aston Martin driver, Lance Stroll, either in pole position or in race. Besides that, he is testing the car. He might be doing well, we don't know, but Aston Martin does, so they can make a decision based on that. That wouldn't be the biggest surprise ever, we've seen this situation before in F1, he wouldn't have any problems with adaptability, once that he is testing the car, he also know very well the team and the team's projects, he doesn't fit exactly on the profile that we are assuming that Lawrence Stroll is looking for, but he still has a small chance to make it. Now we are getting on the big favorites, and for us, the third driver that has the biggest chances to get Aston Martin's seat is Daniel Ricciardo. The Australian is struggling since he moved to McLaren. And if the performance clause is real, he might be very well out of McLaren for the next season. And seeing the market as it is at the moment, he shouldn't have much more chances to stay in Formula 1, if not Aston Martin. According to the driver, he wants to stay in McLaren still. But if McLaren releases him, this can be a great opportunity window for the driver to recover his form. With the team eventually built for him, that was always what he was looking for since he left Red Bull. And this driver fits perfectly. The driver profile that we assume that Lawrence Stroll is looking for. He is great with media, he is a proven driver, he will eventually never be F1 champion, but he is still a great driver, and it's eventually the best driver Aston Martin can have, if he recovers his form of course. The second driver that has the biggest chances to replace Vettel is Mick Schumacher. His contract ends in 2022, he is a driver that kind of fits the profile that we mentioned before, he is not a super proven driver, but the next season will be his third season in F1. He is definitely collecting some experience. About media. Well, about media, his name speaks for himself. About having potential to be F1 champion. At the very beginning of the season, it didn't look much like it. But now, with experience, the driver is shining. And he can capitalize the momentum and make his move to a better team. He has also a good friendship with Sebastian Vettel. And this can play a role. Here the question is... 
Will Sebastian Vettel recommend Aston Martin to a friend? We don't know, but still, we believe he is one of the drivers with the biggest chances. And for us, the driver that has the biggest chances to get Aston Martin set next season is Nick De Vries. I know that we are going against our first premise, that was that Lawrence Stroll wasn't going to hire a rookie into his team, but Nick De Vries is not exactly what you can call a rookie. He has been the test driver for Mercedes for the last three seasons, he is also the reserve driver for some Mercedes engine teams, he did a lot of tests with Mercedes during these three seasons, he did a couple practice sessions, we can agree that he doesn't have as much experience as the previous drivers, and this might be his biggest problem, but it can also be a calculated risk, he is also a driver that we all know that has great results on junior categories, he is also a driver that has shown signs that he can improve a lot as the season progress, as you know, he has been F2 champion in his third season, he has been Formula E champion just in his second season, and with that title, we can agree that he has shown signs that he is a great driver, he is also someone that media would be excited to see in Formula 1, after all, he is the current Formula E champion, and to us, he seems F1 champion material, besides all of this, he has been working for Mercedes for 3 seasons long, so, he should be someone that has some inside knowledge about the team, a team that is still one of the best in the grid, and this will probably not have the biggest impact, but still can play his role. We all know Lawrence Stroll and his latest actions about imitating the top cars here and there, so having this little useful details is something that might be very appreciated by the Austin Martins boss. So, he is not exactly the Fernando Alonso that Lawrence Stroll was looking for, but the risk of hiring this driver might pay huge dividends long term. So for all of this, we think that this is one of the drivers that has the biggest chances to make Aston Martin sit next season. And what about you? Tell us in the comments who is going to replace Vettel. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing if you want to watch more F1 videos, we upload videos about this matters every two days, we will leave a couple videos linked right here, if you are interested just click them and enjoy. And if you want to discuss more about this, find us in our social medias linked in the description. That's all for us, hope you have enjoyed, we will see you soon.